Good morning, guys. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to Penguin Magic. We're gonna look at the number one trick they have. We're gonna buy it, we're gonna review it, and we're gonna do this every single week. All right, we got Snaps by David Jonathan and Dan Harlan. A game changer. Read minds like never before with two photo decks full of hidden meanings, secretly marked, and tons of original routines. And it's $40. So not super expensive, but it's on the high end. Welcome to the world of snaps. Beautifully printed, full color photos that have a hidden secret. My friend David Jonathan and I have combined our creative talents to produce an exciting new concept in card magic. So, what's the big secret? Well, just take a look. And when you see it, you'll know just how powerful snaps can be. One uh, that no is way! also... That's right. These images are specially designed to conceal the letters of the alphabet, numbers, and symbols. There's a whole new world of possibilities waiting to be explored. The snaps decks are a perfect way to spice up your routines. Simply by using photographs, your card tricks become visual masterpieces with more intrigue and impact. What, what, what is your picture? Baseball. No! No! The full system comes complete with two comprehensive photo decks, plus the cards are all marked on the back for easy identification. Now, of course, David, Jonathan, and I share our favorite routines and give you plenty of suggestions to help you create your own. And when you become inspired by snaps, there are truly unlimited possibilities. So, get ready to make an impression with snaps. And there's a second trailer, and I'm guessing it's gonna be like a full performance, so I'm pretty excited about that, because that first trailer, first reaction on that is that, I mean, it's your typical, like, pizzazz trailer. Like, it really didn't show anything. Uh, it's just a bunch of, like, flashy text and, like, bright lights and, and fun music. And then it's like, you know, you can do a lot with this, but it only really says, like, reveal a spectator's name. I really didn't see much else. Not that I'm not creative, though. Like, looking at what it offers, I'm already really excited about what this is. For 40 bucks, I feel like you should get more than just two decks of cards, because um, I know these decks aren't that expensive to produce. I'm sure the packaging will be nice as well. It's Penguin. So I'm assuming then that the teaching with Dan Harlan and David Jonathan is probably going to be, like, super in-depth. Let's watch this full performance and kind of see what we have, though. What is Nine minutes long, so... Probably gonna cut this down. <laughs> oh, well, uh, it is a system. So, uh, range to reveal all kinds of information that people don't see coming. Real quick, though, this is genius. I really do love this. This is like, you know, it's clearly playing cards that they're printed on. Um, I mean, would assume, which is like United States uh, playing card company. It's what they usually print with. So, like, as far as handling goes, any card magician is going to feel so at ease with this. I would assume it's just gonna be like handling a deck of cards, but just like with different, you know, faces that are gonna, you know, kind of give you so many more possibilities. Uh, that's this is just genius. There's one that's face up. Oh, and there's one uh, that is also be easy for anybody that nope. Also, the back design is designed by Phil Smith. I don't know if you've ever heard of him or seen his work. Um, he did all of Ryan Schletz's False Anchors uh, books. He's an incredible, incredible designer, layout artist. Hire Phil Smith for any of your layout and design needs. The dude is awesome. Knows what they're looking for. And then this... Okay, so... This is going to be an intense project. Uh, I was hoping to be able to like sit down, you know, play with it for a couple days and then review it. I feel like I'm actually going to have to like review this after like a week or two. This is so much information. Um, that being said, it's most likely going to be a really positive review. I can't imagine having negative things to say. Just watching the demo, I can I see why it's the number one trick on Penguin right now. This is insane. Like this has, it, oh, it has so much. Okay, the order's been placed. It should be here in a couple days. When I get it, I'll do like an unboxing. And then uh, I will talk to you guys in like a week or so and let you know my thoughts on the whole project. Um, it's super clever, super smart. I genuinely don't think I'll have much negative to say about this. Uh, as someone who really, really likes working with playing cards, I think this is going to be such an 
obvious departure from playing cards into more like mentalism and unique magic that that frankly is going to be really engaging like like i can make a card trick engaging i'm gonna be able to make this stuff really engaging so let's see what i think see you guys in a couple days so snaps just came into the mail let's go ahead and check out what we got So far, this packaging is incredible. The recessed lining for this just fits flawlessly. This is genuinely just a nice case for cards. So both boxes look uh, darn near identical. One box is gonna have uh, symbols, numbers. The other box is gonna have all of the letters. I cannot remember which is which, to be honest. I do remember how to tell the difference and it's on the barcode. Okay, let's open these up. Good Lord, I cannot get this. Again, back design done by Phil Smith, and uh, it is beautiful in person. They are gorgeous. Uh, they handle as good as any deck of cards you've ever had. It comes with the crib card for you. And then here's just all of the icons. Huge selection of numbers that you obviously aren't gonna be able to really tell up front that these are just numbers. It feels each one feels so unique. And not that it matters, but they pharaoh almost perfect. Same thing, you got a good crib card out here. That's a, such a clever one, I love that one. Okay, so I finished watching the whole video. It's two and a half hours of incredible teaching. I have the product on hand. I've opened it, I've checked everything out. Um, due to the world right now, I obviously haven't gone and performed this. 
I feel like I've performed enough in my life to kind of know though that like I know how these routines are gonna play out if I do them and they're they're gonna play really well they teach I think it's something like 11 12 different routines on this explanation video which shows it's two and a half hours so like yeah let's uh, let's just talk about who's this for really snaps is for any working pro is gonna love this you're gonna be able to have so many like there's so many engaging routines you can do with this it's just phenomenal but not even just working pros quite honestly if you're just an enthusiast and you like to perform at your house these cards ah, packaging is insanely good uh these cards are just so unique i can't overstate how much i enjoy this product it's incredible like it's just genuinely incredible anyone can do it everyone should do it like it's truly phenomenal the box alone just sells the trick, in my opinion, as well. It just feels like the, the level of detail I went into this box, making it truly just seem like something just ordinary. There's nothing special about this. And that's what's gonna make it so good because it feels like anyone could have these. Another incredibly cool detail that I think is absolutely worth noting, both, both of these guys, Dan and Dave, the other ones, Dan Harlan, David Jonathan, they independently created these separate from each other. And then they said, hey, let's work together and make the best possible version instead of them both releasing, you know, separate good versions that then if you bought both, you'd be like, this is incredible. They just did it together. And it, it shows the level of detail and love that they both have for these products because we have the most ideal version of this now let's get to the negative though there's not much i can say negative there is some so i feel like i should bring it up so in some of the routines both dan and dave do this uh i saw it right away kind of cringe to myself they do a move where you know they have someone take their selected card they put it in the middle they do an adjustment so the card is now in technically a new location it's so inconspicuous that this would fly past magicians and laymen unless you know the move. But they would then repeat over and over, you know, and you put your card exactly right, right there, exactly that location. That, and it's just the emphasis on that always makes me feel uncomfortable. I feel like if I was a layman and I just did some innocuous task, which was stick a card in, because they didn't say why we're sticking the card in. They just go, oh, place it in the middle for me. It's that casual. And with something that casual and that innocuous, I feel like you should be that casual and that innocuous about when you spread the cards and you come down here. Don't reiterate over and over, this is exactly where you put the card. The spectators aren't stupid. They know that's where they put the card. They see it. They go, well, just, just separate and move on with the trick. And guess what? That's my only caveat. Everything else I love. The routines are insane. Uh, Dan Harlan has a routine at the end called the push, let me double check that before I commit. Yeah, the routine push at the end is one of the most incredible routines I've ever seen. And it could work with playing cards, it really could. It's a better trick with these stock photos. Like tenfold a better trick. It's more engaging, it's more fun, it's more interesting, and the audience is going to like it more. If all of these cards only came with the explanation for push, I would still give it like such a high rating it's such a good trick that being said we're dealing with two incredibly creative guys so quite obviously all the routines are incredible they're really good a lot of them are card routines that have been adapted for this and that's not bad and i think it actually makes these card tricks that we know that are going to feel very familiar to us it makes them more engaging for the audience so now we're going to feel a lot more at ease and at home when we're performing this effect and at the same time it's so much more engaging for the audience to look at a bunch of unique, different images that they can they connect to and see, like it's, uh, who wants to look at an ace of spades 10 times over? No, no, no one cares. But you got lions and tigers and bears, oh my. That's a dumb joke. That all being said, it just, for $40, it seems undervalued, to be totally honest. In my opinion, a project like this, the amount of effort and time it took in the, detail of the packaging all the way down to the explanation 
of two and a half hours of detailed explanation with performances, with live audiences in every single performance. That 40 bucks should be way more expensive than this. I, I feel like we're undervaluing our magic here. Don't get me wrong, I see magic being overvalued way more often than not, but this time around, undervalued. $40 is a steal, you should definitely buy this. If you've ever done a card trick and thought, how can I make that more engaging? This is the way to make it more engaging. Or make yourself more engaging, which I think is always the better option as well. Or do both. You make yourself more engaging, you get this trick that automatically makes it more engaging, and you are going to be a better performer. Not that snaps will make you a better performer. You should do that yourself. But snaps just accentuates to it. It's a little salt on top. Overall, this is a must buy for like any magician. It has mentalism, it has incredible adapted card tricks. It's just an incredible way to engage your audience in a really unique way. Buy snaps, Dan and Dave knocked it out of the park. Again, Dan Harlan and David Jonathan. Thank you for watching. Make sure you give us a like and subscribe if you want to keep up to date with all of the slighted content coming out. My name's Eric Casey. I'll see you guys on the next one.